Hi, this is Annette from tipsfromatypicalmom.blogspot.com and littlegemsphoto.com. Today I am going to show you how to change the color of a background. Um, so as you can see right here that the original background was like a rusty red color and I changed it to purple which is actually the colors of this boy's high school. This was his senior pictures. So I'm going to get rid of that picture so I can show you. So first what you're going to do is come over here and you're going to choose the hue saturation. And it automatically opens up the hue saturation box over here. And then you'll just slide this over to whatever color you want it to be. Um, in this case, just for fun, let's make it green. And you can choose how much of a saturation but we'll probably just keep it normal so it looks realistic uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to click in the mask box over here this white box right here and you're going to choose the black a black paintbrush and I have the size let's do it to about let's see I have the size at 166 and the hardness I'm going to turn down just to about 90. And then what you're going to do is you're going to paint over his skin. And this one is just going to be a rough one. So it doesn't matter if we go over the edges. I'm just going to paint him back to his original color. So basically what this black paintbrush is doing is erasing the mask that's over the picture that's changed the saturation and the hue. And make sure you get every single little bit of that green off. Get as close to the edge as you can. It's okay if you go over because we're going to go over that with the white paintbrush and repaint in the green. There we go, he looks like he's all the way painted in. So now I'm gonna change the paintbrush to white and I'm going to make it a smaller paintbrush, probably about 72 pixels. And then I'm gonna really zoom in so that I can get up close. And we'll just start up here at the top of his head. And I'm going to repaint the, red, the green part. It's really time consuming, kind of monotonous, but this is the best way to do it. Try to make sure that none of that reddish orange color is coming through anymore. And then over here you can see where I missed some of the green on his ear. So you just change that back to a black paintbrush and paint over it to erase it from his skin. And then back to a white paintbrush to get this close to his skin. I'm going to do this quickly for the sake of time on the video. You would, of course, do a better job at it. If you have a Wacom tablet with the pen, this would be a little easier than using a mouse. When you get to these areas where you want to get a tighter squeeze, you can change the size of the brush by hitting your bracket tools if you want. change the paintbrush to get that off and change it back. 
I'm just hitting the space bar. That helps me grab onto the picture and drag it. So if you're holding the space bar, it turns it into the hand and you can drag the picture around. His eyelashes you want the back of you want the behind of his eyelashes to be green also so if you want to go back over those eyelashes with a teeny tiny brush because that black hair looks just a little bit different um, I would suggest doing that too so there you go now we have a green background and we have a purple background and the original color was an orange background let's see if i can open that back up for you so you can see that oh well i haven't saved this but anyway so there you have it if you have any more questions you can leave me a comment and be sure to, to check out my blog at tipsfromatypicalmom.blogspot.com or littlegemsphoto.com. Thanks, have a great day.